Hello everyone, how are you? I hope that you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about atoms and molecules. Okay, so let's start. And then... Ancient Indian and Greek philosophers have always worked about the unknown and unseen form of matter. Ancient Indian and Greek philosophers have always worked on a, always worked about the uh, unknown and unseen form of matter. Okay, they always worked to know about the unknown and unseen form of matter. Okay. The idea, the idea of divisibility of matter was considered long back in India. Around 1500 BC, BC means before birth of Christ, an Indian philosopher Maharishi Kandan postulated that if we go on dividing matter, it may matter, it means padat, which shall get a smaller and a smaller particle. This is the postulate of uh, Maharishi Kandan that uh, if we go on uh, dividing matter, uh, we shall get uh, a smaller and a smaller particles. The postulate uh, of uh, Maharishi Kandan ultimately uh, a stage will come when, uh, when we shall come across the smallest particles beyond which further divide, uh, division will not be possible. Ultimate uh, stage comes when we shall come across the smallest particle beyond which further further division will not be possible. It means uh, these particles can, uh, the smallest particle cannot uh, uh, divide it means the smallest particle which cannot uh, 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 division will not be possible in the smallest particle. He named this particles Parmanu. Okay. Another Indian philosopher, Pakdua. Katyama doctrine and said that these particles normally exist in a combined form of which give us various form of matter. Uh, he said that these particles normally exist in exist in a, a combined a combined form of form which gives uh, which gives us various form of matter. Okay. It means it normally exists uh, in a combined and uh, it uh, gives us various form of matter. Okay. Uh, ancient Greek philosophers uh, Democritus and Leuc uh, Leuc sorry, Leucippus suggested that if we go on dividing matter, a stage will come when particles obtained, obtained cannot be divided further. It means uh, uh, if we go on uh, dividing matter, a stage will come when particle obtained cannot be divided. Democritus called these individual particles atom atom mean, uh, meaning individual uh, we know that atom is very smallest particle it cannot seen by naked eyes it is uh, individual particle okay all this was based on philosophically concentration and uh, and not much experimental work to uh, validate these ideas could be done till till the 18th century okay all this was based on a philosophical con concentration and uh, uh, not too much experimental work uh, to 
validate valid it this ideas could be done till the 18th century okay and uh, the by the by the end of 18th century by the end of 18th century scientists recognized the difference between elements and compound and compounds and naturally because uh, because interested in uh, finding out how and why elements come uh, combine in what happens when they combine by the end of 18th century scientists recognized the difference between elements and what compound okay and uh, naturally be, uh, because uh, uh because interested in the finding out how and why atoms combine and what happen when they combine uh they uh, uh, by the ending uh, by the end of 18th century scientists recognized the difference between elements and what compound and uh, naturally inter- uh, because uh, they interested to find uh, um find that uh, how elements combine Compo- uh, sorry combined uh, and uh, what happens when they com- combine okay anton elweiser uh, laid the foundation of uh, chemical sciences by Uh, established two laws of chemical combination. Lavoisier uh, led the foundation of uh, chemical uh, sciences by established two important laws of uh, chemical combination. First is uh, laws of constant proportion, chemical combination. Uh, so first is the laws of sorry. So first is laws of uh, Uh, laws of chem, laws of uh, p- laws of uh, con- uh, con- conservation of mass, and second one is laws of constant proportion. And second one is laws of constant proportion. Okay, so let discuss laws of chemical combination. The following two laws of chemical combinations were established after. Were established after uh, much exper- experimentation. Lavoisier and Joseph L. Proust. Okay, much experimentation, experimentations by Lavoisier and Proust. Okay, so our first law is laws of conservation of mass. Yeah, laws of conservation of mass. laws of conservation of mass is there a change in mass when a chemical change chemical change means chemical reaction chemical reaction take place here is a question and uh, here is an activity also and now here laws of conservation of laws of conservation of mass is stated that mass can neither be created nor destroyed in chemical reaction uh according to this law mass can uh, mass can not be created nor destroyed in a chemical reaction it means in chemical reaction uh, mass can not be created nor be destroyed okay and now our next law is laws of constant proportion and the second law is laws of constant proportion lavoisier along with uh, other scientists noted that many compounds were composed of two or more elements and each such compounds had the same elements in the same 
in the same proportion irrespectively of uh, where the compound came from or who prepared it Lavisier along with uh, other scientists and uh, noted that many compounds uh, many compounds were composed of many uh, many many two or more many matlab it means many types of element two or more elements elements and uh, each compound had the same element in the same proportion each compound have same elements in the same proportion in the same proportion okay so came from who prepared it and in a compound such as water h2o the ratio of the mass of hydrogen of uh, of the to the sorry to the mass of oxygen is always 1:8 uh whatever the source of water it means uh in a compound such as water uh there is a fixed ratio of uh, hydrogen and oxygen uh if uh, whatever the whatever uh, whatever the source of water okay This is fixed ratio. One is to eight. Thus, if nine, uh, if nine gram of water is decomposed, one gram of hydrogen and eight gram of oxygen are always obtained. Similarly, are always obtained. Okay. So uh, the mass of uh, the uh, the The ratio of water is always in the form of one is to eight. Whatever the source of water is not matter. Okay, so here similarly in ammonia, similarly in ammonia, nitrogen and hydrogen are always present in this ratio fourteen is to three by mass. by mass whatever the uh, method or uh, the source of which it is obtained okay uh, it doesn't matter whatever the source of uh, this compound uh, whatever the source of uh, it is obtained and uh, whatever the method also it doesn't matter this led to the law of constant proportion which is also known as the law of definite proportion uh it is also known as uh, the law of definite proportion it means law of fixed proportion okay this law was stated by prost as in chemical react chemical substance the elements are always present in definite proportion by mass it means in a chemical substance the elements are always present in fixed proportion fixed proportion by mass uh, and see in hydrogen there is a fixed ratio of uh, fixed proportion uh, by their masses uh, what it uh, one is to eight okay and uh, The next problem faced by this uh, by scientist was to give approximate explanation of this law. Uh, the scientist faced the problem to give a approximate explanation of this law. Okay, British. is it the british chemist john dalton provided the basic theory about the nature nature of matter 
John Dalton provided the basic theory about the nature of matter. Okay, Dalton uh, Dalton spent out the ideas of divisibility of matter, which has till then just a philosophy. First, he took uh, he took the name atom as given by Greek and Greeks and said that the smallest particle of matter are atoms. Uh, Dalton picked up the uh, idea of divisibility of matter of matter which was still which was uh, which was still then then a then uh, uh, just a philosophy he took the name atoms as by the greek word said that the smallest said that the smallest particles of matters are atoms it is said by dalton okay the smallest particle of matter is called atom his theory was based on the law of chemical combination uh, his theory was based on the uh, laws of chemical combination dalton's atomic theory provide an explanation of the laws of the laws of conservation of mass and the laws of definite proportion okay here is about the dalton john dalton about the john dalton according to dalton's atomic theory according to that according to dalton's atomic theory all matters whether an element a compound or a mixture is composed of a smallest particle is called atom according to dalton's atomic theory all matters uh, whether an element or compound compound or a mixture is composed of a small particle is called what atom okay atoms the postulate of uh, this theory may be stated as follow this is the postulate of uh, dalton's atomic theory that uh, first one is all matter is made up of very tiny particle called atom we know that all mat uh, all matter are uh, made up of uh, very tiny particles called matter called sorry called atom which participated in which participate in chemical reaction okay I hope you understand the first point and now move to the second point. Atoms are indivisible particles which cannot be created or destroyed in a chemical reaction. It means in a chemical reaction, atom can uh, atom cannot be created or destroyed because it is because they are indivisible particles. Okay. Now. Our third point is atoms of a given elements are identical in mass and chemical properties. Atoms of an uh, atoms of a given elements are identical in mass and chemical properties. Okay. Fourth point is. atoms of uh, different elements have different masses and chemical properties atoms of different elements have different masses and chemical properties atom have uh, atom of a uh, different elements have different masses and uh, different what chemical properties okay and uh, the fifth point is 
atoms combine in the ratio of a small whole number to form compound atoms combine in a uh, ratio of a small whole number to form a what compounds okay and our last the relative number of and all kind of atoms are constant in a given compound the relative number of uh, kind of uh, and uh, kinds of atoms are ca uh, constant in a given it means uh, the relative uh, in a uh, in compound the relative atom the relative number and uh, kinds of atoms are constant in what compound okay so this is the postulate of uh, dalton's atomic theory you will study in next chapter that all atoms are made up of still and smallest part is still smaller particle okay so this is about the dalton's atomic theory okay so in next video we will start what is an atom so i hope you understand all the thing laws of chemical combination and laws of constant proportion of mass and uh, what is laws of uh, laws of uh, constant uh, laws of constant proportion of mass sorry laws of conservation of mass and uh, third one is a uh, laws of constant proportion okay and uh, what is uh dalton's uh, uh, dalton's atomic theory and uh, these postulates so that's all for today uh thank you have a nice day